Lesson eight. Lesson eight. A famous monastery. A famous monastery. The Great Saint Bernard Pass. The Great Saint Bernard Pass connects Switzerland to Italy. Connects Switzerland to Italy at two thousand. Four hundred seventy-three meters at two thousand four hundred seventy-three meters. It is the highest mountain pass in Europe. It is the highest mountain pass in Europe. The famous monastery of Saint Bernard. The famous monastery of Saint Bernard, which was founded in the eleventh century. Which was founded in the eleventh century lies about a mile away. Lies about a mile away. For hundreds of years, for hundreds of years, Saint Bernard dogs have saved the lives of travelers. Saint Bernard dogs have saved the lives of travelers crossing the dangerous pass. Crossing the dangerous pass. These friendly dogs, these friendly dogs, which were first brought from Asia, which were first brought from Asia, were used as watchdogs even in Roman times. Were used as watchdogs even in Roman times. Now that a tunnel has been built through the mountains, now that a tunnel has been built through the mountains, the pass is less dangerous. The pass is less dangerous. But each year, but each year, the dogs are still sent out into the snow. The dogs are still sent out into the snow whenever a traveler is in difficulty. Whenever a traveler is in difficulty, despite the new tunnel, despite the new tunnel, there are still a few people. There are still a few people who rashly attempt to cross the pass on foot. Who rashly attempt to cross the pass on foot during the summer months? During the summer months, the monastery is very busy. The monastery is very busy, for it is visited by thousands of people. For it is visited by thousands of people who cross the pass in cars. Who cross the pass in cars, as there are so many people about. As there are so many people about, the dogs have to be kept. The dogs have to be kept in a special enclosure. In a special enclosure. In winter, however, in winter, however, life at the monastery is quite different. Life at the monastery is quite different. The temperature drops to minus thirty degrees. The temperature drops to minus thirty degrees, and very few people attempt to cross the pass. And very few people attempt to cross the pass. The monks prefer winter to summer. The monks prefer winter to summer, for they have more privacy. For they have more privacy. The dogs have greater freedom too. The dogs have greater freedom too, for they are allowed to wander. For they are allowed to wander outside their enclosure. Outside their enclosure. The only regular visitors to the monastery in winter. The only regular visitors to the monastery in winter are parties of skiers. Are parties of skiers who go there at Christmas and Easter. Who go there at Christmas and Easter. These young people. These young people who love the peace of the mountains. Who love the peace of the mountains. Always receive a warm welcome. Always receive a warm welcome at Saint Bernard's Monastery. At Saint Bernard's Monastery.